Welcome back everyone and hello if you are new. So with perhaps one of the most genius marketing plans I think I've ever seen, it's clear to see that from the word go, the project that is Curse These Metal Hands was something that was born out of love and friendship. The internet's going to be massive, I keep telling you. Yeah, we'll see. Plus, I love your name. We've changed the name. We're now Curse These Metal Hands. The project comprises of two different bands, the first being the instrumental Wonderkins that are Pine or Peen, I'm not exactly sure how to say their name, but they're amazing. Um, and then the second being the colossal and on the tip of everyone's tongues, Conjurer. Combine these two fantastic bands and lo and behold, you have Curse These Metal Hands. <laughs> Sonically, if I was to classify it, it sits somewhere between Baroness's Red Album era, fantastic post-rock, and some melodies that really would have Scott Gorham tipping his hat. It's clear to see that this was never meant to be an album that was, you know, a venture to make money, but more of a venture of joy and friendship. Originally actually being penned to perform at Arc Tangent, that was going to be it. It was just going to be a combination of Pine and Conjurer playing live. However, they've actually released this album or EP, I'm not entirely sure what it is. It's fantastically well constructed and essentially comprises of three very long tracks of over about eight minutes and one short track. But in here is so much sonic diversity that each song is a trip in itself. Sunday, for example, the album's closing track is characterised by these beautiful melodies but also has a really serene section midway through the song where you can really get lost in what Curse These Metal Hands are offering. High Spirits, however, operates with more of a kind of positive overall vibe but then out of nowhere springs these massive blast beats which give so much energy to the song. <laughs> But then it ebbs later on where we go back to this kind of really relaxed and tranquil atmosphere. But for me, it's personally the sections where it goes from the quiet to the heavy, which really makes Curse These Metal Hands a really great addition to, you know, the likes of bands like Isis or Neurosis and you know in, in that kind of wheelhouse because it it's those moments where you do get really quite lost in the music I think which is really really interesting. Having said that however there is a two minute track titled Endeavour which pulls no punches and is as obstinate as possible literally riffs just come after each other. <laughs> And again, on the pole is where the more kind of weighty side of Kirsty's metal hands lie, and particularly they draw influence from, you know, the likes of Russian Circle, Sumac. And despite this being one of the heaviest and most powerful tracks, we're still whisked off into that sort of nostalgia, post-rock element, and it really does kind of capture the essence of some of these really, really fantastic bands, but put them into a context of 2019. The song ends on these fantastically triumphant chords which bring us out of that temporary darkness. However, as much as I say it is easy to get lost in the band's sound, it is easy to get lost in the band's sound. And there are some sections where you do kind of, if you're not paying attention enough, you can kind of not really remember what's happened and have to kind of revisit it. If you're not careful and not attentive enough, you will kind of lose track of where you were and makes you kind of think, oh, I need to go back and listen to that again. This wasn't necessarily a main band, you know, this is just something for the guys to do to have fun. But it's such a treat that it's turned out this brilliantly, really. The most important thing I think with this EP or LP is that the band have access to that unadulterated joy that you have from creating music together. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like and subscribe button. Be sure to check out my other videos, album reviews, interviews, all sorts of good stuff. 
and I'll see you guys next week. All right, take care, friends.